Hi there and welcome to another Autodesk Fusion 360 video. So in the first couple of tutorials we looked at um, the design features and creating an object from a sketch and also creating from some of the primitive um, predefined objects that are already here. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at um, um, another one of the ways that we can create a 3D solid and we're going to look at the sweep um, option. So we already looked at extrude in uh, tutorial number one. So we're going to look at sweep this time. Uh, this is one of the more useful um, um, tools that I've uh, used here in Fusion 360. And you can see in the description, in the tooltip that comes up, uh, you can create pipes or um, um, cables or something from this. Um, so we're going to start off with a sketch. Um, so we'll create a sketch and we'll create this in the front view. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at that and um, we will create this sketch from um, a spline. And we'll start at our origin point here, specify first point. And we'll create this wavy um, shape. Okay. So there's our spline and we'll go to finish sketch. Okay, so that is going to be what's known in the sweep tool as our path. This is going to be the path along which our um, other section is going to be swept along. So we now need to create another sketch, but this time we're going to create it in a perpendicular plane to our original sketch. So um, we need to make it as perpendicular as we can to the actual start point. So let's make this sketch a top-down sketch. So we'll go to the top here. So this was our end point of our spline. You see the point is, is there. So if we choose to create a um, circle somewhere around that area, and we'll make it uh, two millimeters, let's make it one millimeter in diameter. Okay, so we now have our second sketch there. That's the section that we're going to sweep along there. But it's not currently in the right place. It's not intersecting um, the start point of our spline. So we need to move this. And the way we will do that is we go to finish sketch and we'll get our move tool, uh, sketch objects, and we want to move point to point. So we're going to select the center point of our circle there and the end point of our spline as our origin. So move tool, select our sketch object, point to point, we'll take the origin point and our target point will be here. And you'll see now that moves our circle and centers it on that origin point uh, and target point. So we can now sweep that section view along our path. That's the terminology that's used. So the section view is the circle that we just drew and the path is the spline. So if we go to create um, sweep we have an option here now to select the profile and the path. So our profile is the circle and the path is the spline. And then you'll see now it will sweep that circular profile along the spline that we drew, creating a kind of tube or a wire or whatever this might be as part of your model. But that is basically the spline um, option with a sweep um, along that spline. Now, um, there's some different options for the uh, orientation. We can go to parallel or um, we can go to perpendicular. Typically, I use the perpendicular. Um, we can also um, choose a twist angle, which will not make any difference to us right now because our, um, our section view is a circle. But if our section view is something else, then twist angle will be useful. So we'll look at that in a moment. And we can also taper. Um, so we could taper this towards the end. We could taper by one degree, for example. 
and you'll see that we start wider and we get thinner so we could taper this by more uh, if we made it a, a two degree taper then we'll get some collisions uh, sorry won't allow that Let's see if we can go to 1.5 still uh, you see when it comes in red it means that for some reason there's some geometry that will not allow you to to um, to do that um, if we taper by two degrees you'll see that it gets thicker so we're creating something that looks like a horn here and we can go even bigger up to a six degree taper so um, that is how we sweep an object along a um, path now that was using our um, circle but if we change the section to something else then we can um, look at using twists so um, we'll hide that sketch of the circle and we'll make a new sketch and this sketch will be a square so we go to a top-down view and we'll draw a square and we'll make it um, five millimeters by five millimeters and finish our sketch now the same thing we're gonna have to move this so it intersects our spline so uh, we go to our move tool move sketch objects we select the sketch object here so we're going to move this and our origin point will be the center go for this corner here and our target point will be that corner there now we can adjust its position as we don't have a, a center point of the square We'll edit this sketch so we get a center point. We can draw an X inside of that square there. Okay, and uh, now we'll go to move again, move our sketch objects. We'll select all of those point to point. Our origin point will be here, and our target point will be there. Okay. So now we've done that, we can uh, always edit the sketch again and get rid of these two. We don't need those anymore. And again, we'll use the sweep. So this will be our profile and this will be our path. So now we are sweeping a, 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 a square section along our um, spline and this is where we, we, we could use the twist uh, angle. So if we make a five degree twist, or if we make, a, let's say, a 180 degree twist over the whole length, you'll see we now get a twist to the shape as it is extruded along that path. Um, so you can begin to create some interesting um, forms and shapes using um, this. We can also then, again, uh, say taper it. Um, so it gets wider and also twists at the same time. So uh, these are not shapes that you would typically find in a uh, kind of mechanical design. But if you were using, say, Fusion 360 for jewelry design or something like that, then you may find these types of um, um, functions useful if you're designing um, some interesting shapes there. So that is how to sweep along a path um, here in Fusion 360 if you found this video useful then please hit the subscribe button and um, I'll see you next time.